Hi, my name's Dr Penny Walters and my talk that I was giving today was about ethical dilemmas in genealogy. Um, the reason that I became interested in ethical dilemmas was that um, I'd been doing my family tree for many years. Um, my mum was a mine of information and my children had to do a school project. Um, whilst I was doing my family tree and my mum was giving me all the information and my children were doing their project, um, when I mentioned to anybody that I was adopted, they would always say, oh, have you ever found your real family? So whilst I was doing my tree um, with the mum that was the mine of information, I started wondering then whether there was actually a different tree that I should be compiling, my real tree. So um, I then noticed that DNA tests were available. So whilst I'd compiled quite a thorough tree and, and had a bit of an interest in my biological family, but not too much interest because I'd had a happy life, um, when I did a DNA test, I found that I was then um, DNA matching with um, first cousin once removed or second cousin or 94th cousin um, and I didn't really understand what all the DNA words meant. I, I couldn't work out what a centimorgan was and um, what's a snip and a haplogroup and I didn't really understand everything but the thing that stood out the most was that I was 91% Irish heritage. So this then set another ball rolling whereby um, I'm adopted, I haven't got any biological relatives apart from my children, but suddenly I've got biological relatives on a DNA testing company and it's giving me a huge ethnicity. So it wasn't 12% something or 15% something, it was 91% and it was 91% Irish. So the interesting thing about finding that I was 91% uh, Irish was um, suddenly I felt Irish so I suddenly felt like I had brown hair and blue eyes and I'm a bit beige and I'm suddenly Irish and some people were saying uh, it's a bit silly you've never even been there with Penny so am I showing an interest in my cultural heritage which it's not actually my cultural heritage because I've never even been there or is it that um, I'm culturally appropriating so Maybe if you find that you've got 12% Nigerian or 15% Native American Indian, do you suddenly start saying, I knew it all along, I knew that I'd got blah blah ancestors. So um, another ethical dilemma is that when you get your DNA test results and you are going with your ethnicity results, are you enjoying the culture that you've found that you've got that ethnicity for or are you clutching at straws and pulling something out really? So, um, from my home city to Ireland, it wasn't very expensive at all. So I jumped on an aeroplane and came out of the airport, I'm home. Um, but I didn't quite know where to go and I didn't know what food to order or what music I should be liking. Or So in actual fact, this notion of a homeland, I was clutching at straws really, but some people do get very interested in their ethnicity um, and it's an ethical dilemma then. Are you interested in your ethnicity or are you culturally appropriating or showing an interest? In the middle of this, you've got DNA matches and collaborations. So some people you message, you never hear from them. Other people, even if it's a tenuous link as seventh cousin 19 times removed, suddenly think that you're their cousin and want to develop a relationship with you. In the middle of this, you could actually do a DNA test and find that you've got half siblings, or you've got first cousins, or you've got an auntie. And if you are not already in touch with those people, the chances are you're somebody's secret. So if you've never met your auntie, or you didn't know you had a half-sibling, it can only be a secret. And a half-sibling means that your mum or your dad has had a child that you didn't know about, and actually maybe they didn't know about. So again, there's many ethical dilemmas revealing themselves with DNA testing. Um, so we've looked there at... Um, uh, DNA testing, um, ethnicity testing and a big question with adoptees who DNA testing is gold dust because you've got overlaps with um, you know matches um, is should you actually be looking for your biological family so if you've had a happy life and you've had a good upbringing in that sense maybe you don't need to look for biological family but Adoptees are quite often inherently lonely. You've got a loneliness in you that you wished you could find some biological relatives, regardless of whether you've had a nice childhood or a good upbringing or not. So a huge ethical dilemma for adoptees is should you be looking for your biological family? 
So the interesting thing about ethical dilemmas is that it's based on philosophy and it's based on psychology, but actually there aren't any answers. So if I said to you, I'm adopted, should I look for my biological mother? You might say, oh no, that's a, that's a can of worms, don't go down that road. Another person who I admire just as much might say, that would be fantastic, it'll help you feel grounded, you're going to find all these relatives, maybe you'll have a good relationship with your biological family. So in that sense, when you have ethical dilemmas, they're quite often at opposite ends of a continuum. So you've got this thing happening, and then on the other end, that thing happening. And there's not often a middle ground. Um, one of the ways that you could perhaps work your way through some of these ethical dilemmas is to discuss um, confidentially with people. Oh, I found out that my ancestor was a bigamist, or blah blah relative was the result of incest or there's a half sibling that's turned up on somebody's tree so you could collaborate with other people and discuss the range of options or you could perhaps do a course um, one of the many online courses um, that you can do in genealogy or you could join a professional body and in the professional bodies there are codes of conduct and codes of ethics that are laid out for you and that you should be adhering to in order for you to become an ethical genealogist. But most often we're relying on gut instincts and our own values and our own morality. But whilst you are relying on your morals and your gut instincts and your culture, there could potentially be um, legal implications. So if you found some information about some people, your values and your morality and your ethical issues could waft into legal issues.